you hate to say that like I've had great experiences at the hospital because that sounds weird, but coming here and having people know you makes a big difference when you're feeling bad. Belle and I traveled down to Children's Hospital um, today and typically every third Thursday for her to get an infusion of Remicade to help with her multisystemic inflammation that's in her body. Bella has a fatty acid oxidation disorder. Her body doesn't break down long chain fat appropriately at the cellular level. So her body doesn't get enough energy. Yeah, I get nauseous. My body aches. Basically, all my muscles start to like break down and not work. It hurts to do anything. I think it's really important to realize that rare diseases aren't rare. They affect two to three percent of all babies born in this country. Our ability to identify them sooner rather than later uh, becomes uh, critical to us providing a best therapy for them. Because they are research therapies, most centers, when they are approved, don't have any experience with them, and, and so patients want the best for their kids, for themselves. First thing they do is look to see who developed the drug, where was it, where was it tested, and they find us and they want to come here. I don't know what we would do without the whole genetics team. Having a child with a chronic disease, um, chronic pain, it can leave you hopeless, it can leave you isolated, um, it can leave you sad. One of the most memorable times in the hospital, I wasn't feeling well. And this nurse, she just sat by my side and sang to me, and I will remember that for the rest of my life. So I know I want to be a nurse. When you're in the hospital and you're in a dark time, you have people who know you and just appreciate you is amazing. I want to do that for someone else. At Children's, we have found that they put an emphasis on finding some joy in, in your day that's maybe not so great. They're amazing, like, and they, they care so much. They're kind of like family.